penetrator here. Where else do I block drain? That's right, we got a block sewer to go to. So I had a email come through last night. Um, where's her name? Her name is Courtney. I was gonna call her Chantel, but her, her, her name's Courtney. And um, her, she's got a block sewer, uh, already flooded downstairs the laundry when she was washing. Uh, she thinks one of her little cherubs have dropped something uh, down the drain. This is her wording, not mine. Um, drop something down the drain and, and cause it to block up. So we'll go there and check that out for her. Um, normally something, and like stuff can get down the drain and make its way down further down the drain. It, it, it's quite possible. A lot of times when stuff gets dropped down, it's normally flushed from, from the, the little cherubs. Um, so, I had to ask Mrs. P what a sheriff was, okay? That's why I'm laughing. <laughs> I know it refers to her as a kid, but I, I, I didn't know what it was. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll go there and uh, check that one out for her. Yeah, well, that's what I was saying. They normally drop them down the toilet and flush it. Normally it's like locked in behind the toilet um, more than in down the drain. So, but hey, we'll go there and check it out. We'll see what's going on. Let's see if we can get it cleared for her. And, uh, you know, so she can wash clothes. She did mention on the phone she has a lot of washing to be done. So she must be struggling um, having this drain blocked. So let's go get it fixed for her. Right up, I'll see you when I get there. We're at this block sewer. Like I said on the intro, um, when she was doing a load of washing, the, um, it flooded in the washing, um, in the laundry area. So we got a sewer manhole down here. There's one there. And we're either gonna have a look for an IO point to surface around there or pop that, that manhole lid. I've had a look around the property. I can't find a, a gully anywhere, an ORG. But the kitchen's right there, and I can see this here, which looks like sewer overflow. So I'm gonna have a quick scratch here and see if I can find a gully. If the gully's been covered over, that can explain why it just backed up through the floor waste in the laundry. And there it is. And you can see that, that's thick sewer. She's blocked. I'm gonna set up the jetter and probably just run it down from here and see if I can just drop it. And then we'll inspect further. So before I set up the jetter, I thought I'd try and find that iota surface. And it didn't take too long. Just under there is what I'm looking for. A snail, All right? Doesn't even have its shell. It's a new shell. Oh, uh, maybe it's an old shell. The small one. That's interesting too. The ground is broken away a bit there.
Might grab my camera and flick it back towards the house. And see if I can, um, see that little dirty mark down the bottom? And see if we go up to a blockage. So we'll flick this up towards the house and straight away, what do we have here? Look at all that. We've got palms all around this area, paper bark. We don't go much further. Let's set up the jetter and see if we can get it from this end. We're all set up here. Tank's filling up full of water. So the jetter got serviced yesterday. New ball valve, because that handle was dropping. Uh, some new kits in those nozzles too. Oil in there to make sure everything's working optimal. You know, the jetter's, they said, is running well. So everything should be good there. Let's go fire this up and flick up the, well, Someone in the comments called the penetrator the Big Bertha. It reminds me of when I used to play golf as a teenager. So we might flick up the, the Big Bertha, the Reaper, and see what's going on. The trailer looks a bit different because I had to strip it back yesterday for when it got serviced. Also, my cover is completely ripped, so I need a new cover. But the dilemma I'm facing is I'm getting new boxes for the back. They're probably two months away. And then I'll get a cover for the Jetta then. So it might have to just sit out in the weather for a couple of months or a few months by the time it's all sorted. We'll work something out though. But let's turn this on. Let's go get this cleared. Do <laughs> What do you do this up with? <clears throat> okay, let's flick this up towards the house. There we go. It's not far up that blockage. I didn't have my screen on, so I don't know what you could see. There's something tangled around my hose. A bit more stuff coming through. Wait for this water to settle. Then we'll pull it out, we'll see what that is. Could be roots, could be something else. Could be a rag, tea towel, nice, at least we caught it. 
Let's just run this jet back up a bit further. Okay, camera, flick it up towards the house and we'll have a look at that main line. Should we keep this item we found in the drain? Wash it up? Use it? <laughs> oh, I don't think so, but it's good to clean the lens. There we go. Okay, this is looking clean. I think that was our problem. I might fill up some sinks, flush some toilets, and we'll come back and watch some stuff come past. So Courtney's just flushing a couple toilets for me. I just wanna watch some water come through. And I don't know what that is there. I don't know if it's some sort of... Ah, uh, yes, please. That, that moved a fair bit of crap, which was good. What's that? That looks a lot cleaner there now. Here comes another one. Yeah, we'll fill up uh, the kitchen and the laundry sink, please. Maybe that's some sort of expansion knuckle joint or something. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Maybe that's what it is. Seems odd though. Seems like stuff would get caught though. What do you guys think? Okay, we're draining the sink and the laundry. You can see it's flowing it off. I think she's straight in the laundry kitchen now. Yep. Maybe get the wet back and suck out that gully. But I think we're all done here. Yeah, that looks like some sort of knuckle joint, which they have for allow for movement in the ground. We'll jump on the end of R2D2 and give this gully a bit of a clean out. You can see down there, there's bits of fat on the side of the wall, but also it was full of crap and it's got sand probably sitting in the bottom of it too, which won't help. So we'll give this a suck out while we're here.
You there, Courtney? Do you want to just fill the sink up again? The kitchen? Yes, please. There's a little bit of crap down there, but just the way that was set up, just, I was unsure, so I might as well just get it out while I'm here. Save it being a problem, getting called back in a month. And then feeling like a goose because I didn't take 10 minutes to do it. Yeah, you're not meant to cover these over. So if you're uh, someone who does this type of work, it's not good practice to cover the gully over. It's designed to overflow. Yeah, whenever you're ready. Yep, all good. We'll pack up, we're done. Put that over. There's the evidence. She wants the evidence to show her kids. Need the evidence. Yeah, all done, thank you. I'll pack up now. All good. And I didn't even lose a screw. How good's that? We're all packed up. We're done. That come up pretty good. That was a problem. It wasn't tree roots. It looked odd. I thought it might have been tree roots, but no, I got it wrong. It happens. I've got soap here, but I need more to lather up. Okay. I'm happy. Customer's happy. Their drain's flowing. That's what we want to do. Get the drain flowing. Right off. See you all on the next one.